so this is going to be uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and as well Leo Rising, a weekly tarot career reading for uh, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling, um, I want to let you know that if you do want to uh, get in touch with me for a personal reading or you want to check for your a uh, low tarot reading for that very same week you, you can check the description down below in this video and there you're gonna find both links toward my website and as well um, for the other video which is obviously the love one anyway so uh, the first card which represents the very topic of your career for this week december 23rd to december 29th is going to be the seven of pentacles followed by the second one here which uh, stands for the energies that is supporting the topic itself that is going to be the four card the third one it is uh, the uh, challenges that you have to stand against here leo and that is going to be the challenge of the magician then the fourth one represents the gifts and the blessings that you can rely on or you can enjoy uh, throughout this week career-wise. That is going to be the Page of Swords. Followed by the uh, fifth card here that represents how other people see you. Uh, your colleagues, your boss, your supervisor. Uh, that is going to be the Strength card. Afterwards, we do have um, the sixth one which represents what is going to help your long-term goal. Uh, not just the goals for this week but the long-term career goal of yours and in other words it is a card pointing of what you can do this week to help your long-term goal that is going to be the ten of pentacles the other card uh the seventh one represents what can hurt your long-term goal and that is going to be the world card and the final one uh it is the guidance that taro is offering here that for you for throughout this week career-wise that is going to be the four of cups so um career-wise uh, we have a a new enterprise coming in your way uh, really that is very well displayed here in those couple of cards now that uh, most likely is going to come in a form of a um a promise okay that's um uh, well, I haven't expressed myself correctly here, guys. So it's a new enterprise that is going to be promised to you, that is going to be given to you, but it is not going to take place exactly at this final week of work for December 23rd of December 29th. You know, it could be a promise for the start of the next year. But the thing is that the topic itself points that right now you got to take it a bit easy and kind of like a gather up your resources, all right? Gather up your strength, catch up your breath, make your plans, uh, because uh, there is a um, uh, that kind of a menace, a, a danger that you may overperform as soon as this uh, enterprise takes place, and that is gonna drain you uh, energetically, if you will. Resourcefulness as well is going to abate, and for that very reason, right now at that particular week, you gotta take. It easy but what you can do instead is to I don't know if that sounds very practical but it is more like develop your um, your idea or kind of shape your idea I don't know how to describe it it's kind of like the situation is like this one person or in this case you Leo you do have a certain idea for future career development but that idea is not quite there in a shape of that can be manifested and so throughout this week you can do exactly that instead of um, diving into a constant dynamic of a career endeavors you can just you know take it easy just like I said and instead think of you know for the start of the next year 2020 and how you can catch and grasp on a um, <clears throat> opportunities now this new uh, promise that you are gonna get for a new project for a promotion maybe it could be for a new job uh, it's going to make you stand against a certain unknown aspects what i mean here is that you may not be entirely qualified or entirely skillful that me uh, for that matter <clears throat> you know to develop the thing itself the enterprise but uh that being said 
you are to learn a lot from it. What I mean is that probably you are going to be signed for new qualification, um, some sort of a, a business meetings as well. I don't know how to say it really in English when the company um, supports you, uh, supports your development for a further growth in skills and knowledge. So the other card here points about the challenges that you need to overcome and that is going to be the uh, magician card. So we talked about that there are a lot of uh, a lot of things, aspects, not things, but aspects in this new development that it is looming on the horizon that you don't know about. And that is the challenge to uh, recognize or to acknowledge to yourself that you don't know much about what is what what it is to happen and how is going to happen all right and for that reason the challenge is to obtain the mindset of learning or sprout well let's say that way sprawling your skills uh, and knowledge and such an opportunity is going to come straight away with a new gaining for uh, with a new gaining for enterprise you can say it as well a new beginning but once again I, I cannot stress you enough here guys that it is important not to burn out at this particular week that week it is the week where you gather your strength and you prepare for it when the enterprise comes around the other cards um, represents the gifts and the blessings. Oh, one more thing about the magician, I almost forgot. So because uh, once you acknowledge that uh, you may not be entirely qualified for the new enterprise to bring it to, uh, to, uh, to its very end, your confidence may abate, um, may diminish. And um, as soon as that starts to happen, whatever actions you perform into your career are not going to look like they are determined. Uh, that is the word that I'm searching for uh, here. And um, here you have to just uh, recognize that no one is born learned and no one is born skillful and you have the chance to um, enrich your arsenal of skills and knowledge as soon as the 2020 starts. So the gifts and the blessings, it is at the uh, page of swords mm, that you can enjoy. Now, I strongly, uh, how can I say it? I strongly suspect that that is a your person that actually, to me at least, speaks it, it, is that it can be your state. The gift and the blessing here in regards to career with the page of swords, it's about a clean, it's cleansing or cleaning. I, it's like cleaning your uh, career environment from boring uh, chores, from boring endeavors as well. And instead, you know, jumping into more um, in the 2020, that is jumping into more or having the promise to jump into more interesting and uh, further developing kind of uh, endeavors and enterprises. Now, it's important here to be as well original thinker or how other people say it really it's about to think outside of the box there is that is the other way to say about it because um, as a gift and blessing you can count on your uh, intellectual agility and your open um, your open mind your original thought so the other card here represents how other people are going to see you your colleagues your boss supervisor and that is very important card because it, this promise of a new development is going to come from either your boss or your supervisor and with the strength card it is like that you do have the necessary enthusiasm and passion once the spark has been ignited so they offer you something propose you something and that ignites a spark and that spark itself it's it's quite enough, you know, even if you are not um, completely capable at this moment to learn. And uh, on top of it, uh, these people also see you patient and determined enough, you know, to uh, actually do what, what it takes and what it's needed in order to become as qualified as possible or as capable as possible for that matter to uh, finalize the entrusted endeavor that they give you. 
So the other card that we do have, it is what you can do in order to help your long-term goal. And that is pretty self-explanatory here with the 10 of pentacles. At this point, the investment you do this week, it is the investment that works it. And as an investment, I mean investing yourself into this new offering that comes uh, in your way, that new beginning, because the new beginning may not be the topic, but it is the energy that feeds the topic, all right? And uh, this, I, and you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna feel like a hesitant to jump into it because you are gonna have that doubt that you go, that you are gonna be able to um, develop it or that you're gonna be able to deal with it in generally. And that investment of yourself, of your skills, of your time as well, is going to be the investment that you need in order to get one step closer to your long-term A career goal. Additionally to that, uh, the Ten of Pentacles uh, does point here that, uh, how can I describe it? Hmm... Well, I, I would try to say it that way. You should allow people that you um, kept in distance up until this moment to help you if they can help you. And if that makes sense, I don't know if, gonna, if it's going to be possible for, for every single one of you. But the Ten of Pentacles also uh, points for you guys to um, cash in on your benefits or, or, or on your... Um, on your achievements. The other card uh, represents what you should not do or what, or what can hurt your goal. Another self-explanatory card for that particular uh, narrative here, the world card pretty much points that it isn't over and it isn't over with your development in the place where you are right now, okay? And uh, for that reason, you shouldn't think that the that your growth in this company or in this career path for that matter, it's, um, it's ending and it, it doesn't have any, <clears throat> it doesn't have any more room to grow. It does have more room to grow. So it's kind of like, do not waver from it. It is pretty much what that, what that card tells us here in this uh, position. And the last card, it is the guidance that Taro is offering. We do have the four of cups. <clears throat> So Four of Cups is tightly related to the topic and the energy which is supporting the topic. Now, career-wise, the Four of Cups points and it also related to how people see you. It does point that you are... Um, you have reached certain maximum of what the current position where you are is giving to you. And that is very well acknowledged and recognized by the people who are giving you the job or by the people who are giving you the projects. And they see that now, right now, they have to um, simply challenge you or kind of like um, give you an option to grow. And this is the guidance now, instead of, um, clinging to your comfort zone, whatever option or an opportunity have that is going to throw you out from your comfort zone while in the same time offer you more benefits that you have right now needs to be seized. Now, in order that to happen, however, one needs to cling more, uh, to cling or clinch, I don't know, I'm, I, you, this word is pronounced differently in different uh, um, part of the globe. But uh, yeah, you need to rely, I would say that way, you need to rely more on your a mental strength rather than emotional sustainability. So that being said, Leo, this was your career tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And if you do want to check out your love tarot reading for that very same week, you can check out the description down below where you're going to find the link for it. And as well there, you're going to find the link to my website in case you do want to get in touch with me for a private reading. That being said, um, hope we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.